Okay, so this is the writing prompt. You're in charge of assigning every child on earth with a monster under their bed. One child in particular has caused every monster assigned to him or her to quit. You decide to assign yourself. I stare at the file and realize I have no other options. Over the last two years, every monster assigned to Charlotte Dower has quit. Every last one. Her first monster, a giant goldfish face humanoid named Bubba, had been with her for four years. And then, she wasn't scared of him anymore. After that, it was a sting of different, common, uncommon, and rare monsters. I even assigned a sentient sock monster to her. He came back crying. I look at my tablet, only one assignable monster left. Myself. Fieldwork has never been my cup of tea but desperate times call for desperate measures. So at 8.03 p.m., after Mrs. Gideon tucks in Charlotte and her little brother Daniel, I slither into the space beneath Charlotte's bed. Across the room underneath Daniel's crib is a rookie, Chico, a standard creep kind of monster. I turn my attention to the bed above me. Charlotte is still awake, but barely. I reach up over the bed and run an ice-cold finger across her cheek. Silence. So I do it again. I'm not afraid of you, monster she whispers, but her voice is shaking. I can see a small clock on the wall, 814. A door somewhere in the house slams and there is an audible hitch of breath from above me. A few minutes go by, I can hear Francis Gideon yelling at his wife. There are heavy footsteps on the stairs and loud panting breaths. Charlotte scrambles off the bed and she crawls under the bed with me. Move over, Charlotte hisses at me. I do. The door to the bedroom slams open and I smell the stench of human intoxicants before the man even stepped inside. I know why Charlotte isn't afraid of any of my monsters. She's afraid of her own. Francis reaches a hand under the bed and I thrust my wrist into it. He starts to pull. I slither out. What the? I cut Francis's next words off by unfolding to my full 12 foot height. Looming over the drunken man, I caress my cold fingers down his face. If you ever touch, scare, or harm my child again, I will find you and I will do the same to you for all eternity, I promised him. As Francis runs from the door, he soils himself. I pull Charlotte from under the bed, tuck her under the covers, and kiss her forehead goodnight. I'll be back tomorrow night. Sleep well, darling. Charlotte Dower is my child, and I am the monster under her bed. When I first started reading this, I thought it was going to be like Monsters, Inc., but oh my god, was it so much better. Someone needs to make like a short film of this.